Scores at halftime, Gasparilla three, Flynn two, Pedrodi five, Schlitt two, and Friel ten. I don't think they've been down this far at halftime this season, have they, Ted? No, they certainly do have their work cut out because this is the only team that beat them so far in the conference, and uh, they're only four and five in the conference, but they sure seem to have the Lions' number. Let's see if the Lions can uh, shake the dice and get them to roll their way in the second half. Yeah, and, and beating the Lions twice uh, in the same season, will make their season. No doubt. Wildcats have the ball to start this second half, leading 33-22. There's one break the Lions needed to start something. Gasparilla's shot's going to bounce around. Gasparilla gets the rebound. Jamie's shot's off the rim. Tipped in by Matt Friel. That's a big basket already because they... Novi had scored first. They would have swung it the other way, but now the Lions are down by nine. This third period being brought to you by Tormina's Pizza. 4863860. Home of the two foot pizza. Tormina's. Ball number 54, Kenny 34. 11 point lead again for the Wildcats. Shots up by Nelson. Good for three. You could tell from here he had the right arc on that ball. It just went right through. They get the rebound, put it in. It's 37-27. Wildcats. Hook shot, it's gonna roll off. He gets his own rebound. They don't call any fouls. <laughs> All over him. <laughs> Gasparello will be called for that one. That's his third. If he'd have just hit the ball and not followed through, it'd have been okay, but he did follow through and whack him pretty good. That puts Tram on the line. Twenty-seven. Five twenty-five marks the third period. Lions down by a dozen. Creel gets the rebound for a moment, has it knocked from him. Shot by 
by Nelson. Good for three. 39 to 30 now. Lions back within nine. They roll that one in for two. 41-30. Frio gets his to go through for two. I heard flesh tapping up here. Yeah, they didn't call it though. Lions down by nine again. Tormina Pizza's third period, 4-15 left. Gets the rebound. Real did a good job blocking out Tram there. Uh, Lions almost throw it away. Two Wildcats. Lions can't afford just to trade baskets here. They got to get a stop and, and get a couple in a row. Jody's shot's gonna be short. <laughs> Lions are gonna call a timeout. They've gained nothing here. They're still down by 11 with 2.42 left in the third period. the rebound into Sachs to Flynn. Shots up and bounces off, comes down to the Flynn, throws it up and in for two. Forty-three-thirty-four, Novi with 155 left in the third period. Frio gets the rebound. Twin shot is off. Jump ball, make the Lions ball. One thirty-two left in Tormina Pizza's third period with the fresh chopped salads, hot subs, everything made from scratch at Tormina's Pizza. Four, eight, six, three, eight, six, zero, oh, and they do deliver at Tormina's. shot. It's going to be on Flynn. Much more contact than that has been let go, but we're not here to criticize. I'm going to put Novi on the line. They lead by nine.
shots. Let him come off. How can they call a foul on a line when the guy falls on top of him? <laughs> Thirty-four, Novi with a minute five left in third period. Nathan Crager's in there, along with Schlitt. Pass to number 54, James Schramm. 46-34, Lions down by a dozen. Thirty-seven seconds left in Tormina Pizza's third period. That's going number twenty-two, John Dickens. Oh, it doesn't go in, but Schwitt will be shooting too. Forty-eight to thirty-four as Novi's increased their lead now in the third period. 17 seconds left. Foul number 24, Brian Swift. That's his first team first. Makes both of them. 48-36 Novi. third period of action and it'll be Novi's ball again as they get to take it out to start the fourth period. 48-36. They increase their lead by a point since the half. That third period brought to you in an entirety by Matt Mulholland at Tormina's Pizza. 486-3860. Lions have a... And you were saying... It's going to be a long uphill battle for the Lions this fourth quarter. They've got to make up 12 points in eight minutes. Gasparella. <laughs> if nothing else, it should have been a jump ball. <laughs> Nelson shots short. He threw a knuckleball up there. It didn't look to me like he was squared up to the basket. Six. Pretty soon you're going to see a slow down offense. Well, the Lions can't afford much of that themselves. The Lions are down by 14. And now that's 16, 52 to 36 as Novi's completely controlled the Lions here. 
You know, the way to catch up is, is by shooting threes, but if you miss your threes and they get the rebounds, they can come back for twos and, and just bury you, and that's what's happened in the last minute. and the Lions are need a stop now. Gasparilla gets it. Jamie puts the shot up short. Three-pointers good. The Lions are down by 19. 55 to 36 with 529 left in the game. This fourth period being brought to you by Donner Signs at 437-0025. They can make any kind of sign for you or banners. Donner Signs. Shots good for three by Matt Friel. Basket number 22, John Dickin. 57-39, Novi, five minutes left. They'll be shooting two. left in Donner Signs fourth period. Donner Signs at 437-0025. The only way to cut a 20 point lead down is to steal in three, steal in three, steal in three. Uh, and that would only get them down to 11. So they've got a long hill to, to climb up here. to the basket. <laughs> Next Tuesday night at Howell. 
and uh, we will SLC will not be there but uh, next Friday the Winterfest game with Lakeland here will be broadcast foul Lions will take it out 60 to 39 Novi is all over the Lions tonight Matt Frio for two. 60-41. Who they'll call the foul on is beyond me. I guess they're gonna call it on Jamie. Well, what really hurt Jamie was those those two fouls in the first half when he was called for charging. All the other fouls have been genuine fouls. He was all over that guy's back there. But those two that I didn't think were fouls. Yeah. So Jamie Gasparro fouls out. And out they come as support crew comes in for the Lions. Carvo takes the ball. still has their starters in there, but uh, once there's a stop in the action, they'll bring in some. It's 68 to 43. Novi calls a timeout. Well, Novi's the best 500 team in the conference, aren't they? Just, it's just what I've been saying all season. Every game is just as important. You got to show up. We didn't make our shots in the first quarter, first half. Got behind and Novi just took advantage. This will end the uh, seven game winning streak for the Lions and drop them into a tie with Brighton for first place, making that game with Brighton all the bigger. Of course, the Lions still have to play Howell and Lakeland and Pinckney yet, too. So there's a lot of the season left here. Signs, we get the Jim Dandy car wash bringing you this action. Six self serve bays behind the Clark gas station. Shots in for two by Mike McCullough. 68 45 Novi. 
2.30 left in the game. Steals it away, gets it to Thomas. Stolen there. As Kevin Sawala had batted it away. Offensive foul is ouch. So Cullis stood in there and took the charge. He gets a foul called on him and he bangs his head on the floor. Yeah. Wow shot by Arvo is going to come up short. Thomas gets that one to go in. 68-47, Novi. They throw it away. Kirk Arvo. a foul on Thomas. 23 wanted an intentional foul there. The Jim Dandy car wash again time to get the salt spray and mud off your car. It's the Jim Dandy car wash five minutes for a buck and a half. Foul caught on Thomas again. He's rather animated out there. Foul number 14, Grant Thomas. That's his third team night. List again, all our sponsors. Patty made it at Real Estate One. 3486430 South Line Collision at 4376100 The Grill Tomato at 4460322 and they will be opening soon again after their kitchen fire Tormina's Pizza 4863860 Donner Signs at 4370025 and the Jim Dandy Car Wash 4372456 71 47, Novi. Kirk Arville feeds it ahead to Thomas. Shots off. Fifteen seconds left. We'll have a brief post game show for you. Bounces off 
the rim from Crager and Novi's took control of this game in the first quarter and never let go. This is the first, first time since January 8th the Lions uh, suffered defeat and to the same team, the Wildcats. Well, the Lions uh, end a seven-game winning streak, dropped to a tie at least in uh, first for first place now in the conference with four conference games left. Any thoughts, Stephen? <laughs> I've seen it at every level. I've seen it at the rec level and the, the travel level and junior high and high school and college. Every once in a while, a team just has a bad game. Yeah. And uh, that's what we had. Ball wasn't falling. Uh, we were pressing. Uh, we early. Were, pressing early. And we were hurrying our shots. We weren't squaring up. Uh, we, were, we were not taking uh, high percentage shots. We were taking some low percentage shots. Uh, you know, and, and, but you have to hand it to Novi. I mean, yeah. Novi played a good, smart game. Yeah. They got in the lead and they were able to just withstand several times. We got it under 10 points and Novi just kept pushing it back over 10 points. So, uh, you know, yeah, they played a good game too. Yeah. So let's not say the Lions it was all Lions. All right. Well, the, the Novi Wildcats go to 10 and 6 on the year, 5 and 5 in the conference. And uh, the Lions drop to 11 and 5 now and are. Uh, Eight and two in the conference. Yes, and they've got four games to go. Uh, they've got Howell, Lakeland, Pinckney, and of course Brighton. So Brighton can, smells blood. That's going to be one heck of a game. That's a week from Tuesday. Uh, and that may be the deciding game for the conference, but we still got to take care of business three other places too. So, and so does Brighton. Yeah. Well, what do we have here now on scoring? Well, you've got Gasparella with three, Thomas with four, Nelson with six, Flynn with four, Bedrodi with five, McCulloch with two, Schlitt with four, Matt Friel with 19. Matt did get 19, eh? That's 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 a pretty big chunk of the whole team scoring right there. Well, yeah, 19 out of 47. Yeah. It's like about 40 percent. Yeah. Matt really had to scrap under the boards uh, for rebounds, uh, for shots. Uh, he was getting battered and beaten all day underneath, and uh, you have to hand it to him. He, he played a, a, a typical Matt Friel game. Uh, the, the team just didn't didn't play, uh, you know, up to his level tonight. Right. Well, Matt Friel, of course, with easy pickings, is our Jim Dandy Car Wash player of the game. And uh, so our next broadcast is going to be coming uh, a week from tonight on the 22nd of February against the Novi Wildcats. Correction, Lakeland, Lakeland. Lakeland Eagles. Eagles. We just played the Novi Wildcats. Yeah. Glad we don't have to play them again, at least uh, in the conference action anyways. They're not in our, they're not in our district either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be a nice problem to have. We had to play them again way down the road, eh? We're going to have to wait till next season to uh, to do something about this. And right, you know, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Right. 
So that's pretty much a wrap on this game played February 15, 2002. I'm Ted Wallace along with Steve Waldrop, Tony Donner on camera. Thank you for watching this perfectly cable SLC sports presentation. And a final score again, Novi 71, the Lions 47. We'll see you next week.